And we are back. We'll do a little talk around now with our panelists, Eddie Smith and Don Bosch, about Herbert Slatery, the just now departing attorney general after eight years. Gentlemen, I'm interested in your thoughts about sort of his service and uh, the impressions you have of him. Eddie, uh, why don't you start? Sure. And, and, you know, I think what every single person in this state, it doesn't matter your political ideology. I think as a Tennessean, we ought to be proud of what uh, General Slatery and his team did over the last eight years. No scandals, no major issues, uh, nothing that got the state any headlines in any federal cases or that there were any improprieties. So as a Tennessean, we ought to be proud of what uh, General Slatery did in these eight years serving our state. Don Bosch, do we think about the AG potentially ever having scandals? I suppose maybe there are some states in this union where the AGs do tend to maybe get a target on their back, and he did not. Well, I think that's a testament to the, how the AG is uh, appointed, as he said, and how are selected in the state. They don't have to run. They don't have to run in a partisan race, although they, they end up being partisan based on the composition of the, the Tennessee Supreme Court. Um, but the, the AG, I'm sort of surprised her didn't suggest his advice, keep your head down and do your job. Uh, the AG is kind of a quiet role, but very important. I think Herb Slatery, though, uh, while he did he did do outstanding work in the opioid settlement, was very significant. Uh, he did slide the needle more towards a partisan lean in terms of what he picked up and what he advocated or had his office advocate for. He had to fight back a lot with the legislature uh, that wanted him to be their warrior versus the state overall, and generally did a good job. But sometimes I felt like he got pushed in a direction that was a little further or a little more partisan than it should have been. But all in all, if you, we're not Alabama, and we can be glad for that. We're not some of these states with, with crazy elected people. So uh, uh, Herb has done a good job, and, and, and uh, I think Jonathan Scarmetti following him will follow much into Herb's lead. Yes. Jonathan Scarmetti was Governor Lee's counsel. He just took over this month, September, as the new AG, an eight-year term, as we said. We appreciate you watching. This is Inside Tennessee. We'll be back next Sunday.